Hello everyone, welcome back to 3 Minute Biographies. The person that we're taking a look at only lived to the young age of 25. He made a commitment to follow Jesus at the young age of 7 in the church that would later become Moody Church in Chicago. This person is William Whiting Borden. Borden was born in November 1887 and it's said that he was born with blue blood and a silver spoon in his mouth, which means that he was born into money and had an easy life ahead of him. He came from the distinguished families of the Bordens and the Whitings, which was his mother's maiden name. And his father had made his fortune through silver mining in Colorado, but being the son of a millionaire never interfered with William's childhood. He received a standard education in Chicago and Pennsylvania and he graduated from high school at the age of 16, which was too young to start university. So he decided to take a trip around the world. He travelled with his good friend Walter Erdman, a graduate from Princeton University and Seminary, and they set off from San Francisco in 1904 on board a ship with a number of missionary couples bound for the foreign field. Meeting these couples solidified the call for William to the foreign missionary field. William and Walter travelled through Japan, China and India, but the trip involved much more than just sightseeing. They had Bible study every day and prayed for those around them and those back at home. Seeing the poverty alongside those living in darkness stirred William all the more. He wrote home to his mother and said, I have so much of everything in this life and there are millions, so many millions, who have nothing and live in darkness. On returning to America, William started at university at Yale. While he was there, he was very careful about the company he kept and always boldly witnessed for Christ. He spent time at the Yale Hope Mission, witnessing for Christ and helping those whose lives had been battered by sin. Dr Henry Frost, an executive with the China Inland Mission, was impressed with the sight of young millionaire William kneeling with his arm around a homeless person at the mission. William graduated from Yale in 1909 and entered Princeton Seminary in the same year. He graduated from seminary in September 1912 and was ordained soon after at the Moody Church in Chicago. He spent the next three months speaking at various colleges and churches advocating for worldwide missions. And in December 1912, he sailed for Egypt where the plan was to study to get a grasp of the Muslim religion. But as Easter 1913 approached, William contracted cerebral meningitis and died soon after on April 9th, 1913, at age 25. News of his death spread quickly and services were held to commemorate his life. There was sadness at a life cut short, but one of his missionary friends wrote that he was not sad about a life cut short because a life abandoned to Jesus Christ cannot be cut short. William Borden gave away much of his fortune to Christian organisations through his will and gave us an example of what matters most in life and death. And this is why William Whiting Borden is someone that every Christian should know.